Here is a Japanese famous folk tale, Issun Boshi, Part 1. Have you ever seen the small boy? Your kids? Son? Not. Your baby? No. I mean the boy just size as 3 cm, it is about 1.18 inch. In Japanese unit, it s called Issun. The story about the, its tiny boy's adventure, not normal adventure, for him tiny, just only 1.18 inch boy's adventure. Now let's open the page of today, and here is the beginning of the story. Hajimari, Hajimari. Long, long ago, in one place, there were old men and old women and tiny boy. 昔々あるところにおじいさんとおばあさんと小さな男の子がいました。The boy is very small, its size is the same as a finger, so the boy called Issun Boshi. Hoshi means monk, and in old days Japan, boys are called Hoshi too because the boys in old Japan. Often shaved hair. 男の子の小ささは指ぐらいしかありませんなので男の子は一寸法師と呼ばれていました一寸法師 is a tiny boy but he is very brave and powerful 一寸法師は小さい男の子ですがとても勇敢で力があります。One day, 一寸法師 said to old men and old women。ある日、一寸法師はおじいさんとおばあさんに言いました。I want you to be a strong samurai, so please let me go to the city. 僕は強い侍になりたいのです。都へ行かせてください。For i s u m b o s h old women made kimono clothing from small cloth and old men made Japanese sword from needle。i s u m b o s h のためにおばあさんは小さな布から着物をおじいさんは針から刀を作りました。Then I go. 一寸法師 got on the ball ship and rowed a boat by chopstick paddle and started down the river. His adventure has started. では、行ってきます。一寸法師はお椀の船を橋の貝で漕ぎながら川を下っていきました。彼の冒険が始まったのです。How was that part? I hope that you enjoyed today's story and I hope that you can apply this story to your Japanese starting or something too. And if you have any question about this story, please tell me on this video's comment area. I lecture it on this YouTube channel too. Now that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Thank you for your watching. Let's subscribe to Kimono Hashi channel. Check another Kimono Hashi stuff s on the web. See you next lecture.